everyone! Uh, I just wanted to do a little video about how to sow some seeds so that you can um, grow some plants at home. Uh, if you haven't got a garden, we, uh, me and Robert from school have been talking and we thought that it would be a really lovely idea that if you wanted to start some seeds off at home, when the plants are big enough and all of this is over, we can put those plants into um, the raised vegetable beds in the school allotment. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick little video for you now about how to start off some seeds um, because there are still things like compost and um, seeds in the supermarkets. Obviously stay safe while you go in there and don't go just for seeds, go if you need to. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy it. Right, I'm going to be very careful while I do this and try not to get soil on my laptop. So, oh yeah, there might be some um, two hours running around in and out of this video. So, what I've got is I've got some compost, just normal compost, any compost will do for this. Um, and I have, luckily, I've got some different sized plant pots. Uh, but you don't have to use plant pots. So these are plants I've bought and then saved the pots from and put the plants in my garden. Um, but some other things around the house unfortunately I've just taken the recycling out so I don't have much but I thought a yoghurt pot that would do a glass jar be really careful or a takeaway tub that would be pretty good to start off some seeds in um, egg boxes and stuff like that would also be really good and then I've also got some things so I can label what I have planted as well what I've sown So this is the tin that I keep all of my seeds in, but I also got some from Aldi this week. So they've got things like um, peas and vegetables at the moment, vegetable seeds, more vegetable seeds, different vegetables again. So they were, they're all 99p each. Um, but the other thing they do have, just bear with me. Some of these as well so these aren't seeds this one for planting rhubarb is uh, a bit of a root so rhubarb grows from a root uh, so it's in a plastic bag there with a little bit of compost already this one these are onions and they grow from it's called a bulb but it looks like a little tiny baby onion you can see that and the same um, but a different kind of onion white onions instead of the brownish orangey ones Okay. So what you need to do is decide what you want to um, plant. So I think because luckily I've got a little cold frame to start things off in, I'm going to go for some tomatoes. Okay. So bear with me while I just get everything ready. Right. Here we go. Oh, I'll move back a little bit more. You can tell I'm not this technology right you know go on, please thank you right so what you want to do first of all is get whatever container that you're using no peanut and some compost okay just pop your compost into your container and just really gently i'm going to break up any big lumps my compost has been sitting outside for a while so it's a bit wet You can use gloves if you want to, if you don't want to get your hands dirty. I'm not really particularly bothered since we're washing our hands all the time. Anyway, at the moment, and just pat it down. It doesn't have to be mega, mega flat. It doesn't have to be mega beautiful. There we go. Just a container with some compost in it. Right. And then, you want to open your seed packet. See what I'm doing. So you're going to want to open your seed packet and inside that there'll probably be another little packet like this. So get some scissors or if you really really carefully rip the top open you can see how big your seeds are, how many you've got. Now you don't have to put all of them in at the same time, okay? 
so this is what tomato seeds look like now you can also as well as buying seeds in a packet like this you could experiment and use um, a tomato from the shop cut a slice out of it and put the slice of tomato on your compost okay I unfortunately haven't got any tomatoes at the moment to show you but I have got some um, spring onions and I was gonna do a little video about using the ends of the spring onion to grow if we put them in some water we could do an experiment together but anyway these are the tomato seeds and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maybe use about half of them so I'm gonna put some scoop some back into the packet really carefully obviously you could avoid this by not sprinkling them all onto your hand like I did. Alright, we'll go back over here. Okay. Something to lean on, very important. Right. And I'm just going to try and spread them out so that they're all on the soil. Gotta be in contact with the soil. You don't actually even need that many. So I'm just spreading them out so they've got a little bit of room each to grow and then what we'll do is when they start sprouting is you can put them in a bigger pot so that they've got a little bit more room for all of their different parts to grow their roots their shoots their leaves and then hopefully we'll get some tomatoes so I've put all my seeds that I didn't use back in the packet and I'm folding it over okay Right, so once you've got your seeds on your compost, you only need a little sprinkling on top to cover the seeds. It doesn't have to be really deep, it's just literally to cover the seeds and give them a little bit of a blanket. So, we get some more out of my bag. Not much at all. Just try and cover them all up. There we go. Hey, and then the last thing we're going to do, so I'll show you what it looks like now. It's just looks like soil. Okay, but the seeds are in there, and I am going to put it in my cold frame because seeds need somewhere warm to grow. Now it's called a cold frame because it hasn't got all of the sides enclosed all right so what it does is the sun shines through it's plastic the sun shines through the plastic and um, as it goes through the plastic it warms up the air inside so once I close the door I've kind of got a, a little bit of a, it's almost like a greenhouse the way it works um, but you could put them on a sunny windowsill um, fortunately my kitchen windowsill has already got it's already got plants living there so I can't really do that um, but I'm going to put them out here uh, we need to water them first though so I'm going to tip you down there so you can see me watering them hopefully right there. great just got my watering can I haven't filled it right up because I don't need to um, I'm going to wet it now because this is a takeaway tub and it hasn't got any holes in the bottom like a plant pot it shouldn't need much more watering at all than that okay so I'm going to put it on my shelf And I'm going to do a few more and the very very last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my again when I bought some plants these came with them so I'm reusing these but um, a little bit of paper would do as well or you could even if you're using recyclables like that just write on the tub before you put your seeds in it so I'm going to write on my door that I'm going to pop it in Yep. Uh, there we go. 